if you've never heard of you know PEMF devices or PEMF therapy, it's pretty interesting and I think you should stick around. So this is basically pulsed electromagnetic frequency. And this is very different to EMFs, which is just electromagnetic frequency, which are harmful. So you've heard me talk in other videos about EMFs and how certain devices, especially things like electronic fans and uh, really anything that involves moving parts, but also things like big LED TVs, like for example, this one, or just devices like that. They produce these harmful EMFs, which are bad for your sleep, bad for your health, bad for all kinds of things. This is not like that. So I'm actually gonna talk about a specific device uh, a bit later on, but before we do that, I just wanna explain a bit more about PEMF therapy and how it's actually really important. Okay, so what is PEMF? It's quite a mouthful actually to say that. PEMF therapy is basically pulse electromagnetic therapy where you have a device or a machine that can emit pulsed electromagnetic frequencies at certain time delays, which basically penetrate through you and enhance your body in various different ways. They can remove or reduce pain, they can help you focus, they can really do a lot of different things, much like binaural beats. However, these have a lot more research and science behind them. And this is why I thought you might find this interesting. Now, full disclaimer, this obviously is not medical advice. This is not professional regulated, you know, you know the drill, right? This is just my personal opinion, my experience with these things. And I wanted to just let you know about some interesting research that I found which kind of shows the efficacy and benefits of this type of device. So basically it involves a device much like this. This is, you know, an example of a device that can do pulsed electromagnetic therapy, but there are many different types of devices as well. There's been a lot of interesting research that shows how these work. So let me just read a bit of a study that I will, I'll put a link to this study in the description. There'll be a link to this study. You can go and read it. You can go and see like the analysis and the summary of these things. So I'm just gonna read you a bit from the study now. Okay, so this, is, this was a randomized, double-blind, controlled, multi-center study in 36 subjects with lower back pain or radiating leg pain after it was like a type of surgery, okay, after lumbar surgery. So it's basically just testing to see can these devices reduce pain if you have chronic pain from something, okay? Lower back pain scores for one group decreased by 40.2% compared to the 18% for a different type of frequency. So average leg pain scores decreased by 45%. This is pretty interesting. And again, I'll put a link to this study in the description. It's interesting, you know, if you have pain, obviously, and that's kind of one benefit of a PEMF device. But what I find more interesting is if you look at this device, and again, this is just an example, right? This, it could be any device. If you look at this device, what you'll see is that there are four options to choose from, four different frequencies that you can get this thing to pulse uh, you know, you know, you can get this thing to pulse at, the, at these different frequencies. One of them is 7.8 hertz. Now, for those of you who are familiar with that number, very good, you know, for those of you who are not familiar, 7.83 hertz specifically is known as the Schumann resonance. This is basically known as the fingerprint or the vibratory, f you know, frequency of the entire earth. And this is not some, you know, hokey, random spiritual like new age stuff there's a lot of science behind this right the Schumann resonance has been measured it's been tested and again I can put links to this in the description but I'm just going to read some notes about specifically the Schumann resonance and why it's so interesting so a German scientist by the name of Hans Berger using an EEG machine recorded an electrical frequency that was transmitted by the human brain okay later on another doctor okay Dr. Ankar Miller discovered that the frequency of the alpha waves that the earlier German doctor reported were identical to the Schumann resonance, which is the frequency of the Earth. So basically, what this is what this has found is that there's a certain frequency known as the Schumann frequency, which not only does the Earth vibrate at naturally, but our own brains emit the same frequency. It's almost like a foundational base level frequency that where where everything you know emitting and receiving this frequency is in balance. The problem is, and I'll get onto this later, is that modern electronics and systems and, uh, you know, the way that things are set up now means that the, the Schumann frequency, the Schumann resonance is kind of lost and scrambled. However, when you get back into tune with the fr Schumann frequency, lots of really interesting things start happening. You start healing, you start, you know, reducing and reversing a lot of these negative effects that we've been feeling for the last 100 or, or 200 years. So what's interesting is the Schumann resonance 
not only was it similar to the you know frequencies emitted by somebody's brain, but it's identical to the alpha waves that the brain emits. Now I'm just going to read again a bit more. This frequency controls our creativity, performance, stress levels, anxiety, and our, even our immune system. When people are exposed to the Earth's natural frequency of 7.83 hertz, the Schumann frequency, they experience these benefits and enhanced learning, enhanced memory, body rejuvenation, balance, improved stress tolerance, even anti-jet lag. Okay. On the other hand, and this is what I really want to focus on in this video, when you remove that frequency, the 7.83 hertz Schumann frequency from somebody, they start to experience negative effects. They start to become in disalignment with themselves. They start, you know, having illnesses and conditions and chronic pain, emotional distress, and even other health problems. So I'm just going to continue reading from this, this kind of document of notes that I've put together about this. The earth acts like a giant electrical circuit. The atmosphere of the earth is actually quite a weak conductor. So if there was no source of electric charge for the atmosphere, its energy would dissipate in about roughly 10 or 20 minutes, but it doesn't do that. Why does it not do that? The ionosphere, so the area of the Earth's atmosphere that stretches between, and there are different measurements for this, okay, roughly between 30 and 600 miles above the surface, and along with the you know upper atmosphere forms kind of a boundary. And this has been spoken about before, right? The idea of there being a boundary between Earth and space. So what happens is due to solar energy or solar radiation, particles get kind of trapped in between the Earth's surface and the upper atmosphere. They get trapped in this layer, okay? And it creates what's known as positively charged ions. Okay, they get charged up, these particles that get trapped between the upper atmosphere uh, or the ionosphere and the lower crust, the, the surface of the Earth, basically. They, these particles that get trapped there, they build up a positive ion charge. And this is very important later on. So in between the ionosphere and the surface, you can actually, what actually happens is it traps these particles and this energy. So, between the Earth's surface and the ionosphere is a cavity containing the electrical charge of 500,000 coulombs. It's a lot of energy, okay? There's a vertical current flow between the ground and the ionosphere, and there are roughly, this, and this is really quite interesting, there are roughly 2,000 lightning storms at any given moment in time, producing 50 flashes of lightning every second. And if you know anything about lightning, it's an incredible, mind-blowing amount of energy that is released in a very short space of time. It's really impressive and so the idea that there are 50 flashes of lightning hitting the earth at every second of our time you know of time is really interesting so each lightning burst creates these electromagnetic waves that begin to circle the earth in the cavity the space between earth's surface and the ionosphere so what actually happens is that the lightning that strikes the earth literally balances out the other frequencies that are resonating, meaning that Earth is held constantly in a perpetual frequency of this Schumann resonance, the 7.83 hertz. However, what happens is when we moved into these busy cities, we developed this civilization and we, you know, took ourselves away from nature so much, is that we started introducing other frequencies, much higher frequencies than the 7.83 hertz that we're designed to be living in. And so what happens is these higher frequencies, especially you know, and including and especially things like 5G towers and really high frequency, really weapons, right? Energy weapons and frequency um, weaponry. This massively disrupts our natural Schumann resonance of 7.83 hertz. And so we start to experience disease. We start to experience chronic pain, distress, depression, bad sleep, and all of these other kinds of things. But what the devices like the one I shared will actually do, and really there are two ways of getting back in touch with that Schumann resonance, the 7.83 hertz. Number one, you could ground. And so when, when I say ground, I mean you go outside, you take off your shoes and socks, and you literally stand on the soil. What this does is it allows the charged particles, if you will, to equalize themselves. They will go into the ground because your feet are touching the soil, and especially if the soil is wet, you know, if it's just been raining or something, it's a good conductor. So you will then release these charged particles and equalize your frequency. This is one way of doing it. However, most people don't want to go and stand in a muddy field with their shoes and socks off. And it's, you know, it's fine in summer. It's great to do in summer to go out and, you know, walk barefoot everywhere. But in winter, or if you are in a climate or place where the weather's not so good, you don't want to do that. So how do you get back in touch with that same frequency that we should be living with? Well, that's where these devices come in, the PEMF devices, because they actually will pulse this electromagnetic frequency and 
because they are obviously you know designed to do this this is actually clinically tested this one here uh, but there are others right but this is just an example this is clinically tested to actually reduce pain uh, in a medical setting within the NHS which is obviously uh, the UK's um, kind of national health service system okay so it's clinically tested now I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this because the chances are you're in America or you're in another country you're not in England and so this is irrelevant to you because you can't buy it I will put a link in the description if you are interested in this specific one, which is the one I use. And as you can see at the very top here, it has a button. As you can see at the very top here, it has a button which says 7.83 hertz. So you can tune into the Schumann resonance quite easily. If you are in the UK, I'll put a link in the description to buy this. If you are not in the UK, I'll put a link in the description to some other PEMF devices. What you've got to look for is as long as they can tune into the Schumann resonance, which is 7.83 hertz, H to Z. If it has that in the description anywhere, you're good to go and it's going to really help you. Long story short, if you're skim watching and you just, you're short on time, you just want to know the lowdown of this stuff. Basically, the earth vibrates and resonates at a certain frequency called the Schumann resonance, which is 7.83 hertz. This helps us to stay in balance, heal, you know, reduce things like emotional stress and illness and everything. Modern technology and especially 5G um, towers and modern high-speed internet and radio waves disrupt that frequency. So we need to get back in tune with that frequency to kind of be in harmony. Easiest ways of doing that is to go outside and stand barefoot in a field because then you will release the charged particles and you will rebalance your electrical energy basically. The second best way is to use a device like a PEMF device like the one I just showed you, the Medicure Pro. Um, but if you're in the US or anywhere really other than England, you cannot get this one. <laughs> this is, you know, the one I use. There are lots of other devices. I will put links to them. But you can just search on Amazon and you want to look for the devices that have the ability to pulse at 7.83 hertz. If you are interested, I have on my other site, Astral HQ, a package called the Shifting Vibrations Package, which is a series of audio tracks that are tuned to certain frequencies and they will do a similar thing. They're not quite tuned to the Schumann frequency, but they are tuned to things like the golden ratio and various other important and very powerful frequencies. So check it out. And I thought this would be interesting, for, especially for those of you who are maybe skeptical about things like this. The idea that frequencies can affect our mind and body is well documented. And it's so well documented that things like this are clinically tested and used in a medical setting. So I'm curious what you think about this. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you next time.